radiology department, we often use x-rays to image parts of the body. X-rays are a form of electromagnetic radiation with wavelengths shorter than those of ultraviolet rays and visible light. A German physicist named Wilhelm Röntgen discovered x-rays in 1895 and soon recognized that they could be used to image bones. X-rays have been used for medical imaging ever since. X-ray beams can be passed through the body to show the structures inside. Air-filled structures, such as the lungs and gas-filled bowel, absorb relatively few x-rays. Soft tissue structures, such as muscles and solid organs, absorb more x-rays. Dead structures, like bone, absorb the most x-rays. We use x-rays in three imaging modalities in our department, radiography, CT, and fluoroscopy. During radiography, an x-ray image is obtained by placing a part of the body in front of an x-ray detector and then briefly exposing it to an x-ray beam. A radiograph gives a single view of the body part imaged, so sometimes more than one radiograph will be taken to show the body part in a different projection. During CT, also known as computed tomography, x-ray beams are passed through a part of the body in a 360 degree spiral to a large donut shaped detector. The data from the x-ray detector is then used to create cross-sectional images of the body part. CT images can be reconstructed into different planes or 3D projections. During fluoroscopy, pulsed x-ray beams are passed through a body part to a detector to create real-time moving images. Fluoroscopy can be used for many types of examinations and procedures, including swallowing studies and cardiac catheterizations. So there you have it, three modalities in our radiology department that utilize x-rays for medical imaging at Cincinnati Children's.